Hi dear lovely soul, welcome to my channel. I hope I'm not stealing this beginning intro from anyone, but did I? I don't think so. Hi dear lovely soul, welcome to my channel. This is Soleil Rising and you're watching your September horoscope prediction. But before we begin, please, please, please make sure to always, 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 always check your rising sign for more accurate prediction like uh accurate like legit accurate day-to-day -day predictions because it's super important not to only know your sun sign which is going to give you like maybe 50 percent accuracy but if you know your rising sign it's going to definitely give you like more than 80 percent accuracy um and um this month is going to be a little bit slow because we have five uh, retrograding planets and we of course have uh, a lot of ambition a lot of movement but at the same time there will be some kind of like you know tension um, and delays and um, I think uh, collectively we will all go through it and everything will be fine uh, also we will have some Neptune, um, sextiling Uranus and Pluto at the same time. And we can see that there's going to be a lot of creative, uh, creative channeling, creative people coming up uh, with ideas for writing, for singing and many other things. And this month is, uh, <laughs> we're going to have a Mercury retrograde. So for people who know what it is, um, yeah, and for people who, get influenced by mercury retrograde it is going to be very important to know that uh, it's not the perfect time for sending anything to other countries shipping buying traveling making documents so yeah and mercury retrograde is going to be like the retrograde itself is going to be from 10th of September until 2nd of October. However, the shadow period starts from today, 21st or 20th of August. Uh, and the, the shadow side is going to end on uh, October 17th. So for those people who are highly influenced by Mercury retrograde, always. Um, the shadow sides are already, they feel just like the retrograde uh, time um, and this retrograde is going to be in um, Libra but overall as I've already mentioned please make sure to not start something new this period is actually perfect for polishing and redoing something that you have started before uh, for for even for the business if you have a business and there is some kind of product you can redo it repolish it improve it because also during this month we're having some venus in virgo which gives a lot of uh you know like um pointing out to all the details that are missing or kind of criticizing every single little thing to perfect it so it's amazing period for rethinking redoing um, reorganizing restarting something that you have already uh, started some time ago and um, before we jump to your uh, horoscope prediction please please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment uh, if this video resonates with you because it really is going to help me to see if I should continue making this kind of videos and if my videos actually make sense for people uh, and of course uh, it's going to kind of uh, give a path for me um, in astrology should I do it should I be super serious about it or it's just like a hobby and uh, what do you think about this microphone i mean a leo rising fake it till you make it at least it's cute and you can hear me well so let's go to your sign and i'll see you on the other side so dear cancer how is this month is going to look for you well basically we have mercury in libra sign in your fourth house from actually 26th of august until kind of the 20 24th of september so the thing is mercury is going to go retrograde from 10th of september until 2nd of october but the thing is that there are some people who are actually really highly influenced by mercury in general 
so of course they're highly influenced by mercury retrograde there are some people who are kind of influenced and then there are people who are not so for the people who are really really highly influenced by mercury retrograde they are definitely going to be influenced by the mercury retrograde shadow period which actually starts from 21st of august and it's gonna end by 17th of october what does it mean well during this period period um, it is highly not recommended to start something new to sign contracts uh, to uh, buy something super expensive travel to places that you have never been before and just uh yeah spending a lot of money and the thing is what you can actually do during this period is restart redo recharge and uh go back to the things that you were doing before go back to the work that you have done before but then maybe you stopped for some kind of reason and start them all over again or maybe change something polish something that you have been working for a long time in your case uh, this retrograde is happening in your fourth house of um kind of the place where you live in uh, and your maybe your home country and your parents especially your mother uh, it looks like maybe during this period you will be thinking a lot about either going back to your home to your home country or going back to the place that you were living in before but if uh, you are planning to buy or rent some kind of new place it is definitely great to go back and um, yeah to go back to the place that you wanted to rent or buy before but you couldn't for some kind of reason maybe it was expensive maybe something was going maybe something was wrong during this time if you have already checked that place and you know about that apartment flat it's really a good time to make maybe find a good deal and it is also a great time to go back to your home country to visit your parents especially your mom however during mercury retrograde people from the past can come back to you and in your case these people can be either uh, people from like your family side is going to come back to you and then maybe you will uh, start talking to your family members more or maybe people from your home country will be like messaging you a lot or you will be missing so much your home that you will either reach out to your family your parents or you will decide to go back to your home country just for a visit it's good time for just going back to the places that you have already been before um and the thing is mercury is going retrograde right so it's going backwards from um libra in your fourth house and it is from 24th of september it's gonna go back to your third house uh, of virgo until 3rd of october so what does it mean it it means that from 24th of september you will probably start um hearing from your friends from your classmates from your siblings and you will be uh contacting and uh, talking a lot with those people with whom you probably talk once or twice a year um also it is really great period for you guys to if you have started studying something taking some kind of short-term uh, courses maybe taking the tests um, preparing for exams uh, and you have been doing that before uh, and uh, if you go back to those things in during september from 24th of september uh, you will have it will be more easier for you to pass the test to take the courses but mind you it's something that you have already started before you didn't finish it or something happened something interrupted and now it's going to be more easy for you to complete or finish it or it can also mean that maybe you have done something in um, the beginning of august or the end of july like things that I've just mentioned like studying taking tests applying for some kind of I don't know dealing with a lot of documents um it also involves like short term a uh, short distance traveling business trips so if you were doing something related to these things in the, the end of July and beginning of August maybe you will 
redo them and try again. For example, like simplest example, maybe you have applied for some kind of visa in uh, July or August and it didn't work or something was wrong and now you will apply again. So yeah, the situations that have happened during July, August can reappear again. So just remember and think about what happened for you back then. Okay, the next thing we have is Venus is going to be in Leo in your second house of money making until until 5th of September. So what does it mean? From from August until the September, you were probably making money from the things or from the thing that you were enjoying or maybe the work that you have been doing was not so stressful, it was very peaceful and you were like having very chill time but at the same time making really good money. And from 6th of September, Venus is going to go to your third house of documentations and networking people, siblings, um, sales, writing, writing books, publishing, being online, being social, um, making those deals and traveling somewhere short, short term, like a distance or vacations, uh, business trips. And, uh, Venus actually, wherever it goes, it really brings a lot of joy and ease so whatever you have been struggling with this pa past two two months, uh, the fields that I've just mentioned, they will be more pleasant and joyful and more easy for you to deal with. And then from 29th of September, Venus is going to go to your fourth house of, again, like home um, and parents. So it really looks like you either you're changing your home, you're literally like, moving from one home to another home, right? Uh, maybe you will find a new home for you. So that's going to be your concentration for next month, actually, from the end of September and October. That's what you will do. You will really enjoy your new place or your. you will redecorate or decorate your place that you live in and um, your relationship with your family, your parents is going to be more peaceful and joyous. Next thing that we're going to have is Mars is in Gemini from the end of August until January. So for seven months, uh, Mars is going to be in Gemini in your 12th house of immigration, aesthetics, spirituality, yoga, meditation. I can definitely see some Tauruses changing their place of living. Uh, immigrating, moving uh, to some kind of new place, new home where they really will enjoy their time and they will definitely uh, be highly active when it comes to abroad, uh, when it comes to some kind of hidden uh, behind the scenes work. But also in September, uh, Mars is going to make a sextile with Jupiter in Aries in your 10th house. So it really looks like Whatever you will be doing in your 12th house of immigration, meditation, yoga, spirituality, dreams, it is definitely going to be connected with your career and status. Maybe you will start working abroad. Maybe you will work with foreign or spiritual companies. So your career is going to be related to that, but it is definitely going to be something positive and something abundant, and you will have a lot of luck when it comes to it. So change of status for some of you maybe you'll get married in a different country oops sorry different country in some kind of exotic place and um surrounded by not a lot of people but only close people um then we have a full moon on 10th of september in pisces again in your ninth house of traveling abroad studying abroad moving abroad working with foreigners working in international company completing your degree um learning new languages uh receiving so results because full moon is usually results and cancers are definitely are influenced by full moon and new moons so you will receive some kind of results related to abroad working abroad traveling abroad studying abroad uh some kind of uh, language tests uh, learning new languages uh, applying for university so you will receive the results and on uh, 25th of september 
Yes, September, we're going to have a new moon in Libra, in your third house. Again, the house of moving a lot, traveling a lot. Not really like abroad, really far away, but you're going to travel a lot within your city, within your country, or within some kind of region. And that's going to be your new theme from 25th of September. Like you're going to either prepare the documents, because third house is also documentation, new people, new things. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be your focus from 25th of September. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that uh, during this period, like September, we're going to have, oh God, we are definitely going to have Neptune sextiling Uranus and Pluto. So your ninth house of um, traveling abroad, studying abroad, working abroad, working with foreign companies, learning languages, getting a degree, studying and getting those, uh, I don't know, educational progress. Yeah, it's going to sextile your 11th house of dreams coming true and your partnership house. Um, that's a lot of cool things. First of all, something related to abroad is going to give you an opportunity with love or business partnership or clients but it is going to be related to your dreams literally any dreams another interpretation could be uh, if you are going to study abroad you're gonna meet someone like your best friend or your love or business partner from uh from in a place like yeah abroad or in an international like surrounding place where there are many people that you will meet and that's really crazy uh however um some things to mention are first of all do not start something new uh how again however if you have been working on something for a long period of time and it didn't work or maybe you put so much energy into it and you haven't received the results yet if you try just try a little bit again this month you will definitely see long-term results maybe in september maybe in october but definitely like you are going to have a new path if you continue and try again doing some things. However, it is highly not recommended to trust new people that come to your life and tell you some things like, hey, like, uh, we're going to help you with your career. We're going to help you with like, um, you know, giving you that, that citizenship and giving you that passport or something like that. Do not trust new people who come to your life and promise you something because there is going to be a lot of lies. Also, a lot of secrets are going to be revealed during this period. Just mark my words. And I promise you, this video was a secret reveal of your September 2022. So I highly appreciate your support. And I would really love to see you on my next video. So please make sure to subscribe. And uh, you're welcome for um, receiving this secret from me and i will see you on my next video which is going to be very soon and uh, have an amazing september i see big things are coming for you bye bye